Hey guys, it's Christopher St. Michael from Paranormal Brothers. Today we are in Gettysburg where one of the most notorious battles that this nation has ever had was fought right here. And many say it was one of the most deciding battles of the entire Civil War. And speaking to some of the locals and many across the country, they believe the spirits of many of the Confederate and Union soldiers who fought here are still in the battlefields and around the town. We're going to take a look today, so join us. Again, this is Paranormal Brothers. Let's get ready to get started about now. Hey guys, welcome back to Paranormal Brothers, where we investigate the supernatural. And again, we are in Gettysburg, and I'm here at Devil's Den. And the story behind Devil's Den was back in 1863 on July 2nd, there was a huge, huge part of the battle that was fought right here. In this area where all these rocks were, it is an area that went back and forth with the Confederacy and with the Union. And finally, the Confederacy came in and they were able to set up various sharpshooters in and around these rocks. And if you take a look where we're panning over now, this is Little Round Top. And on top of the Little Round Top stood the flank of the Union. And the sharpshooters from here in Devil's Den were firing upon the Union soldiers up on this battlefield until there was an epic charge. A lot of people say that this is the most haunted location in all of Gettysburg. And that's what we're here today to try and find out. Let's take a look. ideal spot with little round top right there I have no doubt that there was probably a sharpshooter taking cover in these rocks and picking off the various spirits I'm gonna take out the K2 this is the EMF detector and this over here on this side where it's green that is going to be like a normal electromagnetic uh, field reading. And the higher that the lights start blinking, means the more electromagnetic um, impression in the, in the, basically in the air that there are. So we're going to see what happens. So let's see, Joey, if you want to, if you look. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is jumping like crazy. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Can you see that, Joey? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, oh, now look, it just disappeared. Huh, gone. I guess it freaked out when you talked. Let's see, Let's see if there's anything. Oh, look, right where I was at. Oh, wow. And then it's gone. I don't know, Joe. Let's see, we're gonna keep this, this, this entire thing going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this right here. I definitely like that rock. Yeah, I don't know if I can figure out a way to balance it on this rock. There, we got it just balanced on the rock now. We're gonna try and monitor that as we're filming, guys. Ooh. 
Hello Paranormal Enthusiasts, I am Joey St. Michael and we are here at Devil's Den at Gettysburg and we have been trying to make contact with any spirits that uh, may be lingering still, uh, anybody at unrest. And so we're going to try these rods and see if we can't get any answers here at Devil's Den. Let's see what happens. We will see what happens, okay. So first question is, the obvious, are there any spirits you got to tell them Present. what you want to do. And if there are, can you show me a sign by moving these rods together or making them cross? There's definitely a little movement on the... Oh, careful. Careful, Chris. It's all these rocks. There's definitely some movement with the left one. And it's coming from the side of this large crevice. That's the left one is continuing to move. Whoa. Oh, oh, shoot. Whoa. Okay. I think there was definite. Whoa. There's right. a. Whoa. So as the left one is hitting my right hand, it's almost like a. Uh, it's a weird feeling. Okay. Go ahead and uncross. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, you're gonna restrain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna fix it. it. Sorry. If you were a soldier and you were here on July 2nd in 1863 and you were fighting in this battle, can you make those rods cross for us? And we bring you the utmost respect we're not gonna hurt you, we don't wanna try and hurt you. We just wanna try and communicate with you and let you know that we appreciate your sacrifice. Oh wow, now it's the other one. Before it was your left one. If that was a spirit, can you open those up again? Let's try a different, different location. It is then that we unexpectedly capture an EVP. We did not hear it at the time of the recording. However, we did find this Class A EVP during our editing. You can clearly hear a voice that I believe to say, I want to go. Let's try a different, different location. Okay. Let's see what your EMF signals are giving out. It's all around you. Now it's settled. And if I were a soldier seeking safety around here, yeah, or seeking cover, Let's go this, this would be this would be a good spot. Definitely would be. If you were younger than 23 when you died, can you make them cross? Younger than 23, keep them crossed. If you were younger than 20, And if you were shooting at Little Round Top, at the soldiers on Little Round Top, can you uncross them?
getting a weird, weird vibe about that area of forest across. I don't know why. There's anyone here, any spirit here? And you'd like to communicate with us? Can you cross these for us? It's weird, I'm actually getting a headache. Were you shot in the head? Can you point these rods to where you were when you got shot? Right here. Is this where you were shot? Were you shot by the Union? If you were shot by the Union, can you cross these rods? Just come up to the rods and cross them for me. Thank you, that's a yes. Can you uncross them? If you're okay with us being here, talking to you, communicating with you? And if you want us to go away, can you cross them all the way, cross them hard? This is gonna sound stupid. I can smell like like gunpowder. Wonder where that's coming from. As I begin to walk forward, a light anomaly appears in the upper right of the screen. It moves from right to left towards my head. Could this light anomaly be an energy, a spirit of a Confederate soldier? By the fact that it's going towards my head, could this explain the headache that I've commented on having and will comment again that it's getting worse? Well, you're the viewer and you are the jury. You decide. We will repeat it several times so you can see it.
I'm thinking if I was shooting at the soldiers up there, right here, I'd be digging in right here. And I'd be hiding. Set that there for a second. Let's just see what it does. If there's any spirits here, can you go near that black box for me? Nothing. If you'd like us to go away and leave you alone, can you go near that black box? I'm gonna walk over here a little bit. But of course, this is more right in the wild open in the wide open you can see like there's a person moving up on top of little round top just gives you an idea of how far away those targets were how good of shots they had to be and the confederacy trying to go up that hill how many people died Some estimate upwards of 1,800 men in this area. Well, friend, there you have it. That's the Gettysburg episode of us filming out on the battlefield, Devil's Den. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We really appreciate it. But when it comes down to the evidence, Joey, what did you find was some of the better evidence in this particular investigation? I felt like out of Devil's Den, there was definitely some kind of activity going on. You'd be foolish to think otherwise. Um, for me, the dowsing rods uh, were pretty impressive. Um, it's hard to tell on camera, but as, as they were crossing, I definitely felt a pressure beyond that of just what a gravitational force would have been had it just been swinging. Um, it, it felt like it was pushing. Uh, even almost maybe in an upward direction. Um, so, so you definitely feel something. Um, you know what the explanation for that is, you know, for you to decide, but you know, I, I felt something. So anyways, hey, thank you again so much for tuning in. We've got more coming up. Take a look at this video. I think you're gonna like it. We'll see you